looking for a kibble that's both healthy and affordable because in this video I'm going to share five of my favorite kibble brands as a nutritionist, why I love them, and when you stay tuned until the end, I'm gonna share a few little easy hacks to make any bowl of kibble a little healthier. Now, before we jump into this first kibble brand that actually gets delivered straight to your home at a really reasonable price, everything I talk about in this video will be linked in my shop page below, and don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. So the first brand is Spot & Tango. Now, they do make a fresh food option, which I will talk about in another video, but in this video, I wanna talk about their kibble option. And I, I put quotations around it because their kibble is actually called un kibble. And they talk about the benefits of using real whole food ingredients cooked at lower temperatures in a kibble because most commercially made popular kibbles that you see in the store or online today is cooked and extruded at extremely high temperatures. And this actually can denature the protein and deplete the food, the kibble of its nutrients. In addition to that, it is vet formulated. And unlike most popular kibbles out there, it is completely 100% made with human grade ingredients. What that means is the ingredients that they use are suitable for human consumption. And that doesn't mean it's made for humans to consume. It means that they're not using feed grade ingredients, which a lot of other really common popular kibbles use. And as I mentioned earlier, this food is super convenient because you actually can have it shipped directly to your house. You don't have to drive to a store and go try to find the right flavor that works for your dog. You just put in your dog's information and they ship you exactly what your dog needs with a custom scooper. They do have a fish option. And that is important because fish is naturally rich in healthy omega-3. For dogs that either have allergies, sensitive skin, coat health. Now a couple cons about this food. And the reason I want to share this is because I create this content not with the intention of telling you what to feed or telling you what to do, but instead to give you the information needed so that you can make an educated decision on what's best for your pet. So a couple things I don't love about this food. One is you have to get it online. You can't go to the store. Two, there's only three flavors currently available and three they do use vitamin synthetic packs which is very common in the kibble industry now I guarantee this next brand is a kibble that you have heard of before it's something you can find in your local pet shop or it's linked below but I do have a caveat a variety within this brand that I prefer over the others and this brand is open farm and I highly prefer their higher protein option and the reason is the nutrient makeup within that line falls more within what I've believe in using more whole food ingredients. The first several ingredients are real whole meat. Their sourcing is certified humane sourcing, which basically means that they go above and beyond in terms of only working with farmers that take the highest quality care of their animals. And they have 100% traceability of not only their proteins, but all of their ingredients. A couple negatives or cons about this food is they are cooked in extruded kibble. So they are cooked at a little bit higher temperatures and with their novel proteins, meaning the more unique proteins like the venison, those ones specifically can be a little bit higher cost. Ollie Dog or My Ollie is another brand that actually ships directly to you specifically based on how much your dog should be eating to make it easy is a kibble that I really like. And one of the biggest reasons is that it is baked at very low and slow temperatures. When you're ordering your kibble, you have the ability to add on fresh foods with any kibble, whether it's slowly baked or highly cooked or extruded at high temperatures, the main way that they're able to make kibbles shelf stable is by removing that moisture. And dogs were designed to get their moisture from the foods that they eat. A couple cons about this brand is right now, today, they only have two protein flavors, but they are more affordable than a lot of other kibbles out there because again, with the higher protein percent found in this food, a lot of dogs can eat a little bit less. All right, we just got a new package in the mail and I gotta do a quick unboxing because as soon as these come in, I have to show you because their themes are limited. I wanted to show it off while we had Marlo here because this is her very first Bark Box. We're gonna start her off with the Super Chewer Box, which are the more durable toys for Super Chewers. And the theme this month is Back to School or Bark to School. And what I love about these monthly toy subscription boxes is that you get enrichment toys. Look at Marlo go. This is a confidence building enrichment activity where I put her treats down in the box and she's foraging them out. Again, big thanks to Super Chewer and Bark Box for supporting our mission to save all the damn dogs by sponsoring this part of the video. I love sharing this kind of stuff with my dogs. And now onto the Bark Box, which is the more traditional plush toys. There's a lot of different elements on here. There's crackles, 
there's squeakers. There, yeah, she's like, oh, what is that? Yeah. Exposing our dogs to new and different things is a great way to build confidence and socialize them. So this Sharpie toy, which is really cute, has a different kind of squeak that you don't normally hear. But my favorite by far is their backpack. So this has so many different elements. First off, you have a little pouch in the front to put their treats, and you can put even more treats and toys in here for your dogs to dig and forage them. Of course, there'll be special offers and links for you in the description below. Now, this next brand is probably one that you've never heard of. It's made in Canada, but you can get it in the US. Um, and it's probably the least affordable on this list, but it is my favorite kibble. And that brand is Karna 4. They are one of, if not the only kibble brand that does not use vitamin synthetic packs. And Karna 4 is doing it better than anyone else. They are providing the nutrients through the food through real whole food ingredients only. In addition to that, they responsibly source all of their proteins and they are baked. All of their kibbles are baked at very low, slow, gradual temperatures. It's extremely palatable because there's no natural flavors, dyes, artificial ingredients. It's all real whole food ingredients. And it's one of the few kibble brands that is truly family owned. A couple negatives, I touched on this. It's one of the more costly or one of the more expensive kibbles on the market. And another con is that it can be a little bit more difficult to find. Again, I have links down below though for you if you wanna look into this. Another brand that is probably one of the most popular ones that you'll see in your local pet shop is a specific line within Stella and Chewy. I get asked about this one all the time and I want to talk about the only line within their kibble line that I personally would feed and that is their raw blend line as their other standard kibbles really just don't do it for me but their protein percent is higher which I really like and I really just love the fact that they add these little freeze-dried nuggets in addition to that even though this probably isn't one of my favorite kibbles just because of the vitamin synthetics that they use and some of the lines have more peas and legumes than I personally prefer for my dogs. I do love the fact that they are human grade. They have a variety of options within their brand to add more moisture and add more nutrition to the bowl. Two other reasons that I added this to this list was their produce in their food is 100% organic. Now a couple cons for this is they do use the vitamin synthetic packs. This food is not baked. It is cooked and extruded at higher temperatures. Friendly reminder, if you're getting value from this, to click that subscribe button and you can connect with me all over social media. I share pet tips and puppy hacks every single day at Rachel Fasaro, TikTok, Instagram, etc. I do want to talk about three ways we can boost our dog's bowl of kibble. And the reason for this is, like I said before, all kibble is processed. And while I am not anti-kibble, I am anti the idea of never giving dogs real fresh foods. But three ways that I would improve my dog's bowl if I was feeding a 100% kibble bowl is first, I would add moisture. Most kibble only has about six to 10% moisture in it. So what I like to do is add things like raw goat milk or homemade bone broth with no salt, no seasoning added. You can also add raw kefir or kefir which is like a fermented goat milk or fermented milk. I am team no dog bowl. And what this means is I wanna ditch those plain circle bowls and instead use mealtime as an opportunity to work with our dogs, give them brain games, mental stimulation, because generally speaking, a lot of dogs were having behavior issues or struggle with severe anxiety, stress, depression, because they're bored. So I like to use things like slow feeders or I like to take their kibble, add some water, let it soak for like 20 minutes to make it more of a paste and put it in a thing like a West Paw Topple or a Kong, stuff it in there, freeze it, and hi Bubby, and have my dog work to get it out. And then the third thing I love to do to make kibble healthier and improve my dog's health is to add fresh foods to the bowl. No salt, no seasoning, canned sardines, sustainably sourced, just in water. Another example would be steaming or parade broccoli. I love adding some fresh watermelon with no seeds, maybe some fresh apple. All of these are going to add more moisture to the bowl as well as more 
whole food, real food ingredients. Now let's talk about Origin. I wasn't going to add Origin or Akana because candidly, they're one of the big conglomerate, big massive corporation kibble companies owned by Champion that really has done a disservice in my opinion in a lot of their foods and some misleading marketing. That said, I understand that they are readily available. So if you're in the boat and you really wanna feed Origin or it's really just one of the only affordable foods near you, I wanted to share what I like about it, what I don't like about it. The only line that I would feed if I was really set on feeding Origin would be their new, it's their newest one, their amazing grains. The reasons I like it are the first like four to five ingredients are real whole meat protein. They're facultative and scavenger carnivores, which means that they need protein to thrive. This brand is readily available. You can easily find it online. I'll link some down below or at your local pet store. And I like the fact that they are trying to make healthier options, in my opinion, like this brand. But again, it's still a traditional kibble. So that's my honest opinion. I would prefer any of the other brands I just mentioned over this, but if I was gonna feed one, it would be the Amazing Grains. Now, I wanna talk more about brain games and enrichment toys that I love to add more mental stimulation to our dog's day. So click the video right here. Or or if you want to learn more about fresh foods, human foods that I give to my dogs, click the video right here. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and I hope you have a beautiful day. Goodbye.